If you're in the US, you may never have heard of Huawei. But globally, the company is massive. It's the world's third largest smartphone maker, and it built a Windows convertible last year that earned it a lot of love. This year, Huawei moves into laptops, and the result is a thin and light notebook that unlocks with a fingerprint, blows your ears off with super sound, and even stands up to some spillage. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the Matebook X Review. Let's start with the apple in the room, shall we? Lots of folks seem to love the Matebook X design, which closely approximates the quality cut of Apple's MacBook. Now, I don't really like it when Android phone makers ape the iPhone, and I also don't dig Windows laptops that look like they came from the Apple Store. But Huawei has actually managed to outshine Apple in some ways here. This display is bracketed by super thin bezels, which look a lot better for one thing, and also that 3 to 2 aspect ratio makes the screen a little taller and helps documents and web pages make the most of that canvas. The fingerprint sensor built into the power button makes all the sense in the world, and it's super fast on top of that. There are two USB-C ports and a hub that comes in the box if you need more expansion. And easily one of the top three features of this machine is the sound it kicks out. The difference is even more impressive in person, thanks to hardware and software optimizations by Dolby, which you can tweak using a built-in control panel. Beneath the speaker bar is the full-size keyboard. Now, I find my own experience diverging from some other reviewers who cite the 1.2mm key travel as too shallow for them. I found it very comfortable to type on, though, my only complaint being how quickly the keys seemed to pick up dirt. A complaint which you've probably already noticed extends to the rest of the casing as well. I don't know if it's the gold paint job or what. But you know what? I'll deal with it in exchange for the keyboard's splash resistance. We spilled a little more seltzer on here than I really planned to, but true to Huawei's promise, after a quick dry off, it was right as rain. This was actually the first time I've seen a spill on a laptop that didn't immediately kill it, so I was impressed. Also impressive? There's not a fan to be found in this machine. This is actually pretty crazy. Normally you only see fanless designs when you're talking about mobile devices, but this review unit is powered by a big ol' 7th generation Intel Core i7. And the specs supporting that silicon are pretty okay too. Now these are U-series chips, whether you get the i5 or i7 model. U for ultrabook or ultra low voltage. So you won't get the same ability to run demanding stuff. This Titanic simulator works much more smoothly on my Surface Book. You should see better battery life than with other processors. Now, that's if you use it carefully. My normal workload includes two separate instances of Google Chrome running five to ten tabs a piece, and I hop between Evernote, Slack, and Edge every so often. I've just got a bunch of stuff open. Even at only half screen brightness, that's enough to take me from a full battery to dead in just under five hours of use. And half-screen brightness isn't always enough to overcome ambient light, especially in open-air cafes or outdoors. Still, that's much better endurance than I get in my big MacBook Pro. And you'd be able to go longer still if you stuck to edge and kept a closer eye on your tabs. When you need to recharge, you need to do it through the left-hand USB port only, which is a shame because it'd be great to have the flexibility of charging from either side. Anyway, the thing takes about three hours to fully charge if you continue to use it while it's plugged in. A couple details before we decide whether the whole thing holds up. On the good side, four big rubber feet keep you from sliding around, and the one-handed opening test gets a big pass. Write speeds on the solid-state drive are fast, responsiveness throughout Windows 10 Pro follows suit, and the precision trackpad is better than average. On the downside, I kind of wish the display was a touchscreen, I wish the keyboard backlight were brighter, and I wish the big Huawei brand was a little cooler looking. What do you pay for the privilege of this prestige gold model? Well, the higher end trim here, the Core i7 with a 512GB SSD, will run you about $1300. Taking a step down to a Core i5 and cutting your storage in half will save you, but not much. You get a $200 cost cut. 
If you just need something that'll get the job done without being too fancy about things, there are many cheaper options out there. And that's the beauty of the Windows ecosystem. But if what you're looking for is a machine with excellent sound, a splash-resistant keyboard, and a great display bundled up in a relatively attractive and super light and thin package, then I'd say Huawei has done enough to earn your dollars here. Just don't stray too far from the charger. For much more detail on the Huawei MateBook X, check out Windows Central's review linked in the description. And for more laptop coverage, check out The Mr. Mobile on YouTube. Please subscribe while you're there for more mobile tech videos from smartphones to electric cars landing every week. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.